And there we go. Okay. Good morning, good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Toon Kind of 12 FPS. My name is Dew, GP Kieran, DWP. Uh, I make funny noises with my mouth, and sometimes they make you go hee hee, and sometimes they make you go lech. Uh, usually, hopefully, it's the former rather than the latter. And today, I'm going to be playing. Uh, you may know them, you may not know them, but you will know them now. Uh, there's Eenie Money and Mo. They are three headed, big, fluffy ranger boys. Uh, they try their best. Uh, sometimes their best is <clears throat> exemplary by some people's standards. Um, but today, we're, they're going to be playing in a game, uh, not in a game, an FPS called Two Truths and an Eye. And, um, hey, would my wonderful, beautiful, fantastic uh, co-player introduce themselves and their character? Um, if you don't know who this is by now, I will be sorely disappointed. I point, I point at you. Listen, listen <laughs> to this person's game. <laughs> to all their things. Oh, yeah, you're gonna just kill me like that on recording, do you? <laughs> yes, I point avidly at all of Candle's everything. Their games are good, their lore is good, the character's good. I take them all, I put them in my pocket, and then I put Candle in my other pocket, and then I run. <laughs> I'm, I'm very glad. I, I have so much fun playing these with you. Your voice at work <laughs> never ceases to uh, make me laugh. Um, so I am definitely in the haha -ha, uh, part of the uh, <laughs> of your intro. Anyway, I am waffling. Uh, hi, I am Candlestick, uh, and today I am going to be playing uh, my little uh, fairy tune, uh, uh, Cassie Trebleclef, uh, who does know what does not know what's incoming for her. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Uh, sorry, hold on one moment. My internet is um, suddenly dropping on me. Give me th 30 seconds. Uh. Can you hear me? Oh. Okay, so it looks like it wasn't only me who had internet in issues for a moment there. Do. Let me in Discord, let me in Discord, let me in uh -huh. Discord, I want to talk to my friends. Oh. You I immediately do. started talking. Hi, I heard none of that. Discord decided, nah, we know what's coming. Nah, out, out, none of this. <laughs> okay, because my internet also dropped and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna change to the actual correct internet that I should have checked before I started because I'm playing on the other side of the house. I pat you. Also, yes, I, I live. Discord cannot keep me down. Thank you, Discord. Um also I need to just poke that. There we go. Anyway, um, right, what were you saying about uh, introducing yourself in a character? I don't know if that got caught in your recording or not. It was on mine. Uh, well, it will be on mine because uh, internet drop doesn't affect my OPS, but I will do it again. Um, Excellent. Thank you. Hi, I'm Candlestick. Uh, today I'm going to be playing my fairy tune, um, Cassie Trebleclef, who has absolutely no idea what's incoming for her. So, yeah. No. No. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Um, she Does she know about any money, Mo? I do not think so. Nope. I don't think oh. Crystal's told her about oh. them yet. Crystal, what an oversight of yours. <laughs> what an oversight of yours. I'm just going to roll something very quickly for them. Wonderful, <laughs> excellent, what I like to see. Um, okay, hey, what, what's Cassie up to? Where's she, where's, where's she at? What's she doing today? Uh, um, I am not sure, honestly. Um, she, you know what, I think maybe today is her day off. Um, she's been doing a lot of... Um, I think she's been doing a lot with like helping uh, Chifley uh, and her dad move into to Chifley's place and probably um, 
babysitting uh, Missy a bit, and she's also had a lot um, with uh, her performance schedule, uh, which has been going well. But today she gets a day off, and uh, it's it's uh, her chill day. <laughs> oh gosh, she's been a busy bean. She's been so busy, man. Yep. Um. Well, it's your chill day off. You vegging at home, or are you out like just? enjoying the day um i think she's um getting ready to leave the house and go spend a bunch of time outside exploring and going places so oh excellent um so we're on a ro- you want to roll me a perception please oh boy yep i, know exactly I will do how this that. Is gonna start. i know exactly how this is gonna start with this this particular role <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, no, you, you know what? It's not. It's not quiet. You you, you probably get down the hallway. Uh, uh, to, like, I, I'll tell you why. The... I'll tell you why. She mm-hmm. has her headphones on at the moment, and she's dancing down the uh, corridor. So as you're dancing down the corridor, um, you walk past a particular door. One of your neighbors, about two doors down. Uh, you make your way over to the lift. Uh, or the staircase. I don't know which way she'd go. You, she, she's just having a little jig jong. Um, but she fails to hear the. <laughs> hey, get out of my house! Sorry, <laughs> don't mind us. And you just, you don't hear the dum, 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 dum. and I'm going to roll a strength check. This is to see, this is to see. Uh, actually, I'm going to roll athletics because, yeah, athletics because they're going to do the thing they like to do. <laughs> 12, <laughs> seven. Uh, you're going to hear the door down the hallway just thunk, uh, into the side uh, of the building as Eeny Money and Mo just pull it open, slide on out, uh, and Mo's just gonna go, oh, sorry, yeah, the, we're supposed to be two doors down. Uh, yeah, we thought this was the right address, uh, but don't worry, uh, we'll, we'll replace the fish. Uh, yeah, we, we can get you a nice tropical one. How would you like one like uh, one of them pictures? And you just hear her, get out of my apartment. <laughs> Slam in their face. <laughs> All right, well, uh, great to you, are you? Thank you, uh, bye. And you just... Okay. You know what? But that was a seven. Does she really hear any of that? No, she doesn't. <laughs> she is still having a jig. Um, I am a roll of perception. For fun. <laughs> oh, good. This could go great. Oh, oh, this could no. go very bad. Oh my. <laughs> you know why they don't see her? You know how this is going to go? They're walking down the hallway and they're looking at her door number. And the reason they don't see that she's actually the other direction is because they're busy. I told you it wasn't that window, it was the other one. What do you mean the other one? There were like 12 other other ones. Yeah, you know, and uh, we can only go through like the ones that are unlocked. Yeah, we can't just go through one that's like locked, locked. I mean, we could, but that would be breaking and entering. And Krista already said, it's different when it's her window, you know. Well, <laughs> Yes, because we live there. We can't just go into someone's house. Well, we can, you know, it's a... Uh, we're not the police, after all. It's not like we need a warrant or anything. Yes, but we can still have the police called on us. Yeah, well, we're rangers. The police, the police don't really have anything to uh, to do with us. None of our concern, really. Um, and oh, they're just gonna... Oh, very good. <laughs> um, you can roll another perception if you want. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe... I think maybe I will. <laughs> Otherwise, we're never going to meet. Cassie. The idea of this just being a chase for the whole of the <laughs> No, there we go. Um, I think I think what's happened is like she's done like like one of those little like turns on her way down, and there's like oh wait, hang on, there's there's a bird, there's a bird, and um, they're and they're outside my door. <laughs> I just can I just pose a picture to you? You turn around. There is not only a bird outside your door. There is a bird lying on the floor outside your door. I say lying on the floor, but it's like they've just, their legs are still straight up, but their necks have all just kind of like stuck to the floor and all three beaks are like underneath. One is under the door, one is going through the peephole in reverse, and one is just stuck their beak into the keyhole. And you're just hearing, (laughs) Cassie, Cassie, you're in there. Is this her? Is this where Cassie lives? Excuse us. We're looking for a Cassie! Ah, uh, she in there! Uh, there's no knocking, it's just shouting. It's just shouting. <laughs> into your house. It's your empty apartment. It's three big birds. You don't know who they are. They seem to be looking for you. I think she's gonna blink a couple of times. Uh, 
does the uh you know that scramble hand for the music to turn it off soon mm -hmm. <laughs> and like pull her headphones down and just like um a, a couple of moments of okay do i do i really want to engage in this uh but you know she's a polite um polite lass and um and so she's just uh i'm cassie <laughs> I'm not gonna roll a perception or we might be here forever. Um you're just gonna see all three heads like one peeks away from the uh eye hole and turns towards you and says, Oh right, yes, uh, we're looking for someone called Catweight. And just hmm? goes back to you. And then you're gonna see it lean down and donk 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 them on the keyhole and just say, Oh, what would you poke me for? I think they found out. What do you mean? We're still looking for it. No, look. What do you mean, look? Oh yeah. Oh, right, you're Casey then. Oh, brilliant. Uh, and then that head just kind of donk, 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 leans down and donks the head on the floor. It says, my name was found out. What do you mean we found out? I was still shouting for her. Cassie! Cassie, you ain't that. No, you, uh, no, you conk her. She's up here. What do you mean? She's like, oh, for goodness sake. And then Eni leans his head down, grabs money by the scruff of their neck and just pop, pops them out from under the door, turns their head straight towards uh, Cassie and says, there she is, right there! What do you mean, there she is? Oh, yeah, there she is, right there! <laughs> and he's just gonna lower his head and just... <sighs> right, yes, hello! Uh, I don't know if... Um, I don't know if Crystal told you about us. I mean, I, I'd be incredibly surprised if she didn't, considering... And Miney's just gonna toss his mohawk. I mean, considering, you know, uh, you know, yeah, uh, considering. And they're all just looking at you with uh, right little grins on their face. Okay, uh, that that was a that was a deception. She doesn't laugh. <laughs> Dirty twenty, just like your sister, aren't you? <laughs> um, but there is there is a big grin on her face. Uh, like, uh, just like she hasn't laughed at your antics, but there is a there is a smile. Uh, and uh, and she goes, <clears throat> oh, you you know, uh, Chris, um, uh, I. I mean, I, I don't think she's mentioned you yet, but we're still catching up, so... And she sort of <laughs> shrugs a little bit and then just, like, um, holds out her hand. But it's it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I think she's forgotten she's still halfway down the corridor. Uh, well, firstly, you're just gonna hear her <gasps> and their claw is gonna part onto the front of their chest and their heads are gonna rear back and they're just gonna... She hasn't told you about us. I can't believe it. Honestly, I, honestly, if, if I were her, we'd be the first things to tell you about. I mean, there's just so much to say. I mean, well, I mean, if others. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think it's uh, right. And they just sort of turn around and huddle. Um, and you just hear mutterings of, right, we can't muck this one up. Yeah, we've got to make it perfect. I mean, this is Crystal System. You know, we've got to make this count. And I'm just going to give themselves a. Uh, I'm going to give themselves part of consideration for this role. <laughs> because, gosh, they do not want this to go badly. So I can add a d6 to their uh, performance role. Um, yep. Hang on, let me double check that. Uh, make sure that is correct. Uh, inspire another creature with a 1d6. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to make a performance and see how this goes. Yep, okay. Come on, lads. So that was an eleven, and that was a that was a that was a one. That was a one on the Vardic inspiration. <laughs> they got <Aww>. twelve. <laughs> so I mean, we are in a uh, corridor. Uh, so I think I know why this goes that way. You see them try to stretch one of the legs out, and it kind of bongs uh, against uh, one of the doors opposing uh, Cassie's, and you hear a thump thump. Would you keep it down out there? Sorry, we, we, don't worry, we'd we get through this real quick. Yeah, trust us. Uh, oh, it's, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's going to be good. You're going to want to listen. And they just crouch down again and just... <clears throat> and you see, all three, you see all three heads turn downwards. And they're just quiet for a moment. It gets kind of awkward. Like a minute or two. And then you see them... Uh, you see the head on the right slowly lift, their, lift his uh, head up and says, We are... Uh, well... Uh, we're uh, heroes that fight for justice. And then you see the head on the left lift up and say, we're rangers that stalk the dark to make sure that people, all kinds of people, 
of all society types are kept safe. And you see the middle head slowly rise up above the other two and say, we are, well, <laughs> we are exemplary, extraordinary rescue rangers. Inny, Inny, Edmar! And you just see a door behind them slam open and say, what you keep it down? And just as they kind of strike their pose, uh, they go, which then kind of doof, doof. two more doors open and a woman, a UPA woman with curls in her hair says, yeah, could you three just keep it down out here? And then one of your neighbors kind of looks at you and squints and says, oh, Cassie, are these, are these your lot? Could you, could you, could you just go? They're not, they're, you know, it's, it's too early for this. Yeah, come on, Cassie, take them out of here. Yeah, come on, Cassie, take them out of here. And your neighbors are starting to get a little startled. <laughs> Uh, I, I do think she she does give a bit of a um uh sorry sorry don't don't worry we we were just leaving um sorry for disturbing you I I know it's still early come on come on <laughs> and, and she's gonna gesture to any money and we're like uh down the stairs and, and um, just uh uh and I don't know their names but she will know all the names of the people so she does go you know uh bye Mrs uh what's her name and see ya mister and uh and like just like she will um like greet each one of them with a um sorry thanks uh sorry sorry hope ha goodbye have a good day sort of thing um before uh heading <laughs> heading down all three heads turn towards each other sticking out the doors and just nod with a <laughs> and then <laughs> slam their doors in unison um but the the three headed bird that's been following after you that you now know are Eeny Miny and Mo because each head has said their name kind of look down and says uh, well uh, I hope that's uh, explained things to you because uh, yeah we're uh, we we're, 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 we're rescue rangers and uh, we met Crystal on a very very important very high stakes adventure you could say and well uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, relative to our interests that. Uh, we make sure that she's safe and also that she joins our team of uh, rescue rangers and uh, it seems pertinent that, you know, that we uh, make sure we uh, extend that offer to everyone that uh, Crystal uh, has come to know or at least, you know, family members that's very, uh, that seems to be very important for Crystal, so, you know, and they just kind of nod their heads as if in understanding. There's, oh... Uh... I think you, like, were probably going down the stairs at this point, and there's, like, this moment where, like, Cassie does a bit of a pirouette and, like, sort of flut is fluttering now backwards, and it's just, like, a big, uh, big grin on her face is like, wait, Chris joined a, uh, a ranger guild? <laughs> I will say, as you're fluttering down the stairs, you're just hearing like, "Oh, wow, that's that's a uh, really neat. Oh, nice on point, very tasty. Oh, you know, you could add like a little flick to that one, you know, give it a bit of sprite." And they're just kind of like <laughs> giving little comments as they go down, and then you ask that, and they say, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't don't misunderstand us. She was a, uh, you know, very very stubborn, as Crystal tends to be." And they kind of roll their eyes very fondly. But you know, eventually we uh, we talked to her and uh, made her see that you know it's. Probably Probably, it'd be a good idea, you know? It'd be great for her to uh, really practice her... Uh, well, we're still trying to get her into the field and get her to actually, you know, hit things with things other than magic, because honestly, uh, you know, we've seen anti-magic fields in effect, and quite frankly, we do not want her caught up in one of those because she will fall flat like a pancake. So we're trying to give her a bit more stabby-stabby training, but yeah, she seems a little resistant to that, apparently. And she doesn't want armour either. That's very important for a ranger. And they're just sort of trotting down the stairs, going off on little tangents as they talk. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, for the sake of brevity, they kind of tell you about how they met Crystal. Uh, it was uh, the Art Attack game, which was one that Kai ran. It was brilliant. Guys, it go listen to it. so much fun. <laughs> it was so good. Um, but yeah, they just tell you all about Art Attack, about how your sister got kind of slammed down by a slime, but they very heroically uh, stabbed the thing until she got out and then set it on fire. And then um, they, they uh, you do hear Mo kind of say, it's a shame about the little one, though. I did want to, you know, just... 
It was just a little fella. It was not a little fella. It was a slime and it was going to eat you. It was just a small slime. We could keep it in the pot. No, we couldn't keep it in the pot, mate. It was going to... It would probably eat through the actual Tupperware. Yeah, but still, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's despite the point, you know? If we, we treat it and raise it with love, it could just be our little fella friend. It's going to grow bigger. Um, but yeah, they tell you all about our attack and they tell you how they moved in and uh how they're they're now roomies and crystal is <laughs> one of their first recruits oh um <laughs> which which I, I think at the mention of the their uh her roommates that's probably cooking some things in place for cassie because i don't <laughs> think crystal's mentioned them by name uh but uh mm-hmm. she probably has complained a little bit about oh that's that's my housemates sort of thing um <laughs> by the way you're welcome to roll an insight on cassie if you'd like i cannot because they are too busy talking about crystal you can roll an insight on them if you want sure um i will give this then for the audience is the expression on cassie's face is or look can only be described as that delighted expression of a younger sibling who has gained uh blackmail material on their older sibling excellent <laughs> i know that feeling well <laughs> but uh other than that she has been listening pretty avidly to their story and not really interrupting them at all uh but yes i will roll that insight Gosh, this man. And 19. Damn. Yeah, okay. Because she gets the okay. nifty little advantage due to her flower crown that she's got on. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So you look at them, and they are clearly, like, clearly fond of your sister. They are clearly, like, you know, they, they, they talk of her fondly, and they kind of riff on her in, like, gently, like, kind of kind of like you know that's just like her kind of thing it, it's not it's not mean it's it's very um it's very friends kind of teasing each other kind of thing that yeah, they're doing yeah. um but you also kind of get the feeling they do have like an immense respect for your sister like they praise her academic skills and the fact that she can do things for hours on end with without dropping concentration they respect that greatly and that she's like she's determined to get things done like there's a great deal of admiration for your sister coming from these three (laughs) yeah that's a feeling she knows well (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah so there's there's just a very um like soft like there's there's that definite overtone of cheekiness of uh but also that soft um and like i'm actually very glad that crystal is is making friends <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah i i don't know if she's gonna do much else because she's just polite she's gonna let them ramble and imagine being polite <laughs> imagine having manners imagine that would you for me? These three having manners of any shape, description, or size. Let me just check. I'm gonna roll with saves to see if they realise they should not be talking as much. <laughs> oh, uh, that is a eighteen minus one. That's a seventeen. Um, so after a while, they just kind of like peter off and shake their head and be like, right, well, that's enough about your sister, honestly. Uh, you know, you know, she's a uh, great and everything, but uh, also we actually hear more to, you know talk to you and get to know you better kind of thing and they just give you a winning smile and like a say whatever you're up to today yeah you know we can help you out and you can have a chat uh, talk about us uh, talk to us about whatever you like you know uh, we're good to go and do anything and they're just sort of hopping into place doing that <laughs> with their legs um, <laughs> um i do think she laughs at that and it's just it it's my day off today so i was probably going to explore a little bit <laughs> Ow, picking, excellent. You know, we've been trying to get your sister to actually take a day off, and it's a pain in the, a 
a pain in the rear end, let me tell you, pain in the tail feathers, absolutely. We had yeah. to actually physically take her out to get her out. Yeah, you know what we mean. Well, of course, of course she does. Uh, she's, she's Crystal's sister. I'm sure she's aware that Crystal can stick her nose in a book and probably not blink for the next uh, 16 hours. Uh, honestly, uh, we, we don't know if she has actually got to that point yet, but quite <laughs> frankly, sometimes we don't know if she's part lizard or not. What if she's been replaced by a lizard person? Wait, no, if she was replaced by a lizard person, she'd be colder. That is true. Also, she would need more layers, and you know what she's like about her uh, specific clothing interests. And they just kind of <laughs> shuffle in place a little bit. Um, <laughs> and the heads. <laughs> I, I think um, that, like, Cassie is still laughing. Oh, just the... No, she's she's always been like that. Uh, you you actually took her outside. Like, did did you like? Did you have to kidnap her? Uh, they kind of glance between themselves. You uh, did. <laughs> now now technically it's not kidnapping. Uh, yeah, it's, it would be abduction. Technically, shut it. It wasn't abduction. Uh, mostly it was. Uh, it was a, you know, it was a mandatory self-care that she refused to take. So we had to step in as the, uh, well, not caretakers, but the enforcers. Yeah, that's it. We were the care, oh, we were the self-care enforcers. Oh, mate. Oh, well, I mean, uh, she did probably at first. But don't worry, she's used to it by now. And uh, quite frankly, she still puts up a fuss on occasion, but she knows better, you know, she needs she needs to take her breaks on occasion. And you know, we respect her dedication to her job and everything. That's rather why we wanted her to join the team after all. But even so, just putting your head in a book for like 18 hours plus and expecting yourself to just magically make a breakthrough or learn something is, eh. Uh, you know, but that's, yeah, there ain't no way to go about it, you know, so, uh, so we take her out every now and then, we make sure that she eats, we make sure that she knows how to poke things with the pointy ends, and, uh, we make sure she gets, uh, uh, enrichment, you know, uh, yeah, no, uh, we, sometimes we bring her back, like, little shiny baubles and bits, uh, We still haven't planned an actual course for her. We should actually plan that course. We've got quite a few initiates. Oh, yeah, you know what? We quite need to do that. We do need to plan an initiate course to make sure she can pass through and actually, you know, advance through the ranks and, uh, you know, it, it, that's very important. But, um, yeah, sometimes we can, uh, sometimes, uh... Then they kind of pause and the three look at each other and they slowly look down at Cassie and they say... Uh, so, would you like us to show you how exactly we managed to get your sister outside so often? <laughs> um, I think there's like, hmm, sort of a bit of a like wary look, but there's also a lot of curiosity. So she's just like, yeah, okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Roll me a deck save. Oh, cool. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you do not make the deck save. You do not make the deck save. To be you fair, are yeah. she does mm -hmm. a pretty good try of it, I think. Oh no, you... Luckily, um, they kind of jump in front of you very quickly and swoop down beneath your legs and kind of flip you over their head like, Hapsy daisy up you go, and hold on tight! Uh, so with a 15, um, you don't actually land facing backwards, you manage to kind of like grab a tuft of their fur on the back and kill yourself facing forwards, uh, <laughs> just before they <laughs> charge up their feet and then <laughs> off into town. <laughs> she is laughing the whole way there. Excellent. I am very glad. Um, as they're kind of running around, uh, you're going to just hear Evie call back, So where exactly was it you wanted to go? Yeah, you know, we, we can run around aimlessly for a little while if you want. But uh, typically if we uh, keep running around aimlessly, we kind of get, uh, well... Someone tried to give us a speeding ticket once, which was incredibly uncomfortable and difficult to uh, explain that we didn't need a driving licence for ourselves. And they're just <laughs> kind of running. Uh, she, she is going to have to shout because they're probably going pretty fast as the... Well, yeah. I don't know. I I was planning on just going somewhere I haven't before. Oh, 
oh, going somewhere you haven't before. And they turn to look at each other and you see them start to grin. Well, uh, if there's somewhere you haven't been yet, well, I suppose it's uh, only your duty to, uh, well, to oblige you. And they uh, gear themselves up again and go a little bit faster. Um, <laughs> I'm going to roll something for them to see how well they dodge people. Oh, good. 16. It's a decent effort. They might accidentally startle someone into dropping, like, all their shopping bags and just go, oh, for Pete's sake! And then someone sticks their head and says, you're called? Oh, no, sorry, Pete, not you. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, as they just run past. Um, Should I be man, rolling any I'm sort of, of save to stay on them as they speed up? That is... That is up to you. You can roll a strength or a deck save. I ain't gonna tell you what to roll here, man. <laughs> this is on you. Oh god. Should I? The the, the sisters do have something in common. Yes. <laughs> do the strength. Do the strength save for me, please. <laughs> oh wonderful. You're having a you're having a time. Staying on there, aren't you, Cassie? Man, I, you you are still on. Go ahead. I I think I mean I think she's probably like had to like do that like arms and like sort of like grip and make sure her wings are tucked down behind her uh, and like focus all of her effort into staying on now. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. It's like you have to streamline yourself as best as you can so you don't get... I feel like it's like a case of where the winds, they're running so fast, the wind has tried to actually lift you up with your wings. Yeah, and you just have to yeah. Like, like a kite, basically, <laughs> where she would go, like, off the back. Oh, that's giving me a whole idea. Okay, I'm tucking that away for later. Um, <laughs> it's got nothing to do with tying Cassie up in string and running her so fast she flies like a kite, no sorry. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm trying to think of somewhere she hasn't been before. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait, I think I have an idea. Um, I'm going to roll one of these again. Um, and I'm going to roll it with advantage because they have... Oh. Oh? No. No. Dice Master, no. They know the forest. They know the forest. You're leaving town. I see, you're leaving town. Uh, they seem to have just darted north of Toontown. You, you go in a little too fast. It's kind of like a blurry montage at the moment. And you just hear like, they start to run. Um, well, not they start to run. They've been running the whole dang time. Um, you can roll a survival or a perception if you want. Ah, one of these things is better than the other. <laughs> Alright, 16 on Perception. Nice. Perception. Well, you see that the uh, scenery around you is changing from forest to slightly less forest to more... It's less of a dirt track you're going against and it's starting to get a little more rocky terrain and then it starts to get quite rocky terrain and then you kind of feel them just pull back to you and say, alright, we're going to take a real sharp turn in uh, about a couple minutes, so... Uh, you're going to want to hold on real tight, and we're going to go through some bushes, so, uh, yeah, hold on and duck down. Um, oh, so you've got a bit of pre-warning. Uh, so, um, is that another strength save? Mm, it would be a strength or a dex, because you're both trying to hold on, or you're trying to dodge the bush as it whacks past you. Mm. Again, one of these things is much better than the other, but I... Oh. Okay, I don't know whether I want to go with the funny option or with the actual good option. <laughs> Always funny. Always funny. <laughs> go with the funny. Alright, then go it's, with another, the it's another strength save. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn! She is not like her sister. <laughs> we no. both have minus one strength mods, but we are different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, with the warning, she uh, she like tucks down as small as she can get behind like the neck and just like like mm. <laughs> you maybe um 
uh, Eenie's in the middle. Uh, does Eenie want to, like, roll something for, like, not um, having the air squeezed out of them? Um, Eenie is on the left, but I can actually... Oh, sorry, right. I my knee, my knee. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna roll athletics again. Alright. They're rolling like dirt today. They're rolling like dirt. So, I think I know what happens here. They basically... They kind of... They are running through the brush, but then they stumble, and then they kind of, all right, eh, eh, emergency landing, and they just kind of, hold on a second, actually, no, don't hold on, let go, and they just kind of <laughs> tumble over themselves, and Cassie, you go flying over them through a gap in the uh, bushes, and you come out onto a little kind of brook place uh, with a... I feel like your ballet, uh, your dancer instincts kick in. You do a little, uh, do a little flip over your head and you just do a ding, a little landing. Um, as falling behind you in a tangle of uh, brambles, bush, and brush comes out, Eenie, Money, and Mo. And I just think. <laughs> I think it out. would be funny if um, she does like the. <laughs> Uh, she lets go, and then her momentum takes her, like, forward and stuff, but she does, like, the acrobatics in the air, and then, like, she writes herself up, and she hasn't touched the ground again, like, she's still sort of, like, hovering in the air, and then they, like, come screeching yes. out underneath her. <laughs> and then she lands very slowly with a poof on her back. Um, yep. um, uh, they are covered in, like, trees not trees, they're covered in like twigs and leaves and stuff and they just look back at you, they crane their necks back uh, like over their backs upside down and they just give you upside down smiles and say, well, we're here if you want to like uh, drop a seat off her. We came here once with a strange fellow to go fishing but uh, you know, it's a pretty secluded kind of place, it's, uh, it's just a nice little look if you want to have a look around and they just kind of poof onto the floor for you to get down. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think there's a. Are you alright? Uh, and she has cast a healing word <coughs> on them. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, you cast healing word on them, and um, they just kind of they kind of slump a little. And go ah, yeah, thanks. Eh. And you do also you hear like a boop, beep, 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 as like little stinging nettles and thorns that were in them just start to. <laughs> just you out of them um i'm actually gonna roll something here um oh, this is just for fun to see if uh, i hmm. think at this point uh, uh should i uh, yeah i should probably roll another perception no, it doesn't work um you see one of the thorns kind of <laughs> pop into the river and as it does you see a carp just kind of Go back into the stream. <laughs> oh, it's not a very you good almost, perception. You almost had some fish. Uh, I think oh, she's looking ten. around and just like trees and rocks and yeah, I don't think I've ever hmm? been here before. Uh, yeah, it's it's trees on the op opposite bank. There isn't a beach. The side you're on has like a little shoal shale beach, uh, kind of covey bit. Uh, again, it's just kind of like a small brook, um, and it seems to curve around towards the right uh, as it heads down. And if you were to look to the left, um, it seems to be coming from... There seems to be like more white watery river, uh, river sort of flow up ahead, but you can't quite see where it's coming from. <laughs> um, but you know there's fish here, and there seems to be like a little rock pooly area, or at least like, a, like, an off, like an offshoot that seems to be just a deep pool. Um, but you know, in my name, shake their uh, heads and say, Ah, oh, yeah, no, it's just like a little tucked away place we uh, tend to camp, at, uh, camp out at. Yeah, before we, uh, you know, uh, before Crystal uh, let us uh, kind of uh, hang around her place, we, we sort of just use this uh, use this as a spot near Toontown. Yeah, it's, you know, got plenty of fish, uh, plenty of food nearby, uh, set up, uh, setting up shelters pretty easy, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty good place uh, to just kind of chill out for a little bit. And then just kind of poof, poof onto the floor. And, uh, hmm. Roll. And that's face. I think, uh, I think she's, uh, like, been, like, it's, it's nice. Uh, and she's sort of, like, gone, like, she's 
like darting around a little bit, having a look. I think at the moment she's currently floating over the the river, like peering down, sort of half upside down. Uh, you see many small fish kind of swimming in uh like little uh little schools. You see some of the larger carps kind of just swimming around. There's like maybe a bottom feeder down there. Um, and you do see the carp that almost got hit earlier kind of eyeing you up there and just kind of squinting at you as best as a fish with no eyelids can squint. Uh, I think she does, like... She'd sort of been doing the, like, reaching and, like, fingers trailing in the water sort of thing. And then she's, like, she sees the eyeing and is like, ah, I think I might move back a foot. Uh... If you move back, you're just going to see the fish is very slowly following you with its eye in the stream. It's not moving away or towards you. It's keeping a steady point where it is in the brook and just eyeing you up. Um, actually, I'm going to roll for this. I don't know why your survival is so garbage. You used to be better at this, mate. Um, it might be your bardic level that ruined it. I'm going to roll this with advantage because they have done this before. Dice passer. 15, I'm taking it. Um, so you see them having taken something out of their hammer space and put it on the ground. Um, it appears to be like a blanket of sort that's just kind of poofed uh, over a log. And you see them kind of darting in and out of the bushes. And they're taking like loads of bits of like, uh, what's the word? Um, twigs, bracken, foliage, uh, that sort of stuff. And just throwing it into a pile. Um, which you kind of notice uh, it, it does look like a slightly less grassy area than most. It seems there's a point where the grass gets just a little drier or shorter and then kind of browner. Um, and they're just piling over that brown spot and they're like, eh, yeah, you know, so we, we just kind of typically set up a fire here and uh, we're not going to set it now because it isn't, you know, uh, it's not light or anything. But it's just so we don't have to go running around closer to night because that's when, you know, you break an ankle and then you call out for help and then nobody comes and then you kind of have to limp yourself uh, to the closest village and then there's no one there because they're all at a carnival the next town over. So then you have to actually try and get into someone's house and, you know, try and heal up your leg and then you fall asleep sleep in their bed by accident and then you wake up to a scream because someone's like there's a monster in my bed and then everyone comes at you with pitchforks and you have to get out of the village before somebody tries to actually stab you with a pitchfork um and they're just merrily going along <laughs> saying this and uh, <laughs> there's, this together. there's a blanket that's a oddly specific example Oh, no, it happens all the time. Yeah, no, it happens in, the uh, in our old guild all the time. Oh, yes, no, it's uh, it was just one of many examples of silly follies that people in our guild have, uh, you know, gone through. And I'm going to roll a... What's your mod on this? Mm, I should remember this. Remembering. Yes. They always roll high on these. So that was a 24 on deception. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I... No, she's not going to be able to roll that high. Um, but uh, there is a bit of a, a blinking, and like I don't think she's even trying to like um, like she's just the sort to take most things at face value, and she's like, "Oh, hmm? you were part of a guild. How come? How come you uh you started your own one?" Um, I'm gonna gotta pause and just kind of eye each other up, and they're gonna look over at you, and they're just gonna. Slowly make sure everything's set up and then slowly make their way over to where you are. By the way, are you still hovering over the, brack, uh, the brook or are you just like near it now? I where, think, where is Cassie in the moment? I think she probably is still hovering over the brook. Um, well, there, you see Edie and just kind of squint at you warily and say, uh, uh, well, firstly, uh, just before we tell you anything, you might want to kind of step away from there and... Uh, could you roll me another deck save, please? <laughs> okay, yep. Eleven. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's high enough. Um, actually, because you see, uh, you see that beady-eyed fish that was kind of looking you real dead in the eye. You turn your head and you see its head slowly breach the surface of the water. Its gills flap once, twice. And you manage to get out of the way as it shoots a jet of water out at you and say, uh, okay, that's that's quite enough. Boy, don't be such a little picnic, you little... And they just pick up a pebble and <clears throat> throw it at the fish. 
it, Mrs. <laughs> and the fish looks at them. It's unblinking, starey eye. And you hear it jump out and go... <laughs> as it slaps its fish, fishy fins together in the air and slops back down and <laughs> swims away. Oh, heck, you know, they've gotten really sassy by now, haven't they? They didn't used to be this sassy. Uh, they used to be a little more... Miles a minute, but it seems that, yeah, no, it seems they've gotten real, uh, real up in themselves, you know? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you think catching a few of them would knock them down a peck, but apparently not. And they're just going to sit down. There you are. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, I think she will come over and, uh, um, well, I, I, I don't know, but I feel like throwing rocks at them probably doesn't help. Well, usually we wouldn't. However, um, typically if the fish start to get a little bit aggressive, you have to get aggressive back. You need to assert yourself, otherwise they're going to think they're the boss of you. They're going to think they're the boss of the land people, as well as the sea people. And then it starts to get like a whole actual, like, uh, you know, racial thing. And then that evolves into a whole other, like, territory dispute. And it becomes a whole, you know, Legends of the Sea and Land War. Haven't you ever read about the Legends of the Sea and Land War? Those things. Oh, man. Uh, there used to be like a giant magma titan that rose out of a volcano and said, you know what? I want some more land. I don't want this sea. And then a giant fish kind of just rose out of the sea and said, excuse me, this is my sea, you can't just take that. And then and then the giant man magma monster said, what are you going to do, stop me? And then the uh, fish said, yes. And then they fought for a very long time. <laughs> it's just like, like, she's just like, oh, I haven't heard that one before. I thought they were just fish. Ah, no, there's loads of different kinds of fish. And there's loads of different kinds of... Uh, Creatures and monsters out there, you know? Oh, yes, there's, there's an absolute... Oh, there's a slurry of them. We can tell you all about them. Although, uh, mostly we deal with things called uh, aberrations. Uh, that's what we are specifically involved in. Yeah, you know, those sort of eh, strange creatures. Uh, there's less beasts and stuff, although we do know our stuff about them. But, yeah, more so things that are just a little bit not quite right in the world kind of thing. Mm. There, there's a, like... <laughs> she's looking at you you can see there are sparkles in her eyes like the <laughs> oh it's just like y you've been on adventures you see all 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 of their hair just kind of fluffs up and just all three heads point towards you and say oh of course we've been on adventures we're rangers after all we go everywhere we go wherever we please uh, well, we go wherever we needed, really. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. We, we prioritise where we're needed. But also, as rangers, we can just go where we want. We've been, uh, oh, gosh, we've been to, uh, we've been to Billstown. We've been to the border. Uh, where else have we been, Ned? Um, I think we almost made it to a place called Little Corner. I think we got in... Did we go to Yeats? Uh, I don't remember uh, we went to Yeats. Oh, you've been there! We know someone that's been there! Yeah, a uh, little fella, uh, Well, not a little fella. Well, they're little compared to us. Most people are little compared to us, to be fair. Oh, yeah, no. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, we met someone called, uh... I don't know, Roller History. Do they remember... Do they remember his name? <laughs> do you remember this name? Oh, gosh, that's a whole plus one. <laughs> I don't remember... I'm sorry, Morski. They do not remember who Tone Scrim's name is. Uh, we don't remember this fella's name, but uh, we, we remember he wore red, and uh, he's got blonde hair, and uh, and he was kind of an important figure in use or something. Yeah, apparently he had a lot of paperwork, and one of the fellas we were chatting with at the time decided it'd be a good idea to kidnap him a lot and, you know, get him away from all the paperwork. Not kidnapping, abduction. Oh, right, sorry, abducted <laughs> from his paperwork. Um. Oh, God, there's a, I think there's a bit of a... Ah, uh, okay, so I guess this this is just a kind of common thing that occurs. Uh but she's like, Yeah, I, I, I went to there was uh I, I caught a train there and um and, and there was a, a a murder mystery on the train, of course it was a it was a fake one. It was it was to entertain the guests on the way there and, and then and when we got the city we uh went and explored the underground tunnel system. AKA the sewers. <laughs> mm. Excellent. They just nod, nod, nod enthusiastically like, oh yeah, 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 that sounds fantastic. Uh, you know, I don't quite remember if we've been there yet or not. 
I mean, hmm, memory's a little fuzzy on it, but uh, if we if we have, we'll we definitely check those out. And they sound like a blast. Uh, did you have a lot of fun going there? Then? Oh yeah, it was great fun. I, I, I really liked exploring everywhere. It um, it's it's been oh, it's been so good, and I, I've got to see a lot of places. But uh, I've only been doing it for a couple of years, so I haven't got to go everywhere yet. And I I've been in Toontown. Uh, more recently for a, a longer period of time and uh, she kind of just like shyly tucks her head back behind her ear like <laughs> yeah she seems a little bit embarrassed by talking about her her, her own adventures uh, the three heads kind of look at each other and then look down at you Kazu, uh seeming to come to sort of agreement and they're like well, uh, you've done a bit more adventuring than your sister to, to the sounds of it. Yeah, you know, trying to get her out of the house is bad enough. Actually getting her to go on an adventure is a whole new story. Which uh, we might actually, uh, you know, if uh, you wanted to no. help us out with that. Nah, she's actually done a fair bit of adventuring. <laughs> um, the other all insight. You see all three of them rear back and look at each other in surprise like, A crystal? Well, no adventuring, not actually outside, outside adventuring. Are you, are you certain about that? And they just kind of lean down in avid interest. Uh, very much a tell us everything. Kind of like, That's an at 20 wait, on. on insight. Ooh. Insight. Okay. Uh, they are, they have never heard of the fact that Crystal has, like, they don't seem to know anything about Crystal's past, at least in terms of adventuring. Mm -hmm. They know her as she is now, which is... Honestly, big big nerd, big nerd that likes to stay inside or at least go outside to do work. Um, adventuring, this is new to them. They have not heard that she adventures before. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise Cassie that uh, Crystal is closed off about uh, her past. Uh, that doesn't surprise her in the slightest. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh yeah, well, I mean, like, she does, uh, well, she did, uh, well, yeah, she does travel around a bit now. Um, she goes to a bunch of different universities for her her research, um, uh, and stays there for a few years at a time. Um, uh, but uh, no, um, she, my my pa my family um, used to used to uh, adventure all the time when she was little. Um, they 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 stopped when I was born. Um, so firstly, you mentioned university, so I did have to roll an intelligence check to see if they knew what that was. They got a seven. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know what a university is. Um, but they listen to the rest of it, and as they listen, they just kind of nod. Um, I'm going to roll that net 20. They seem kind of almost slightly confused at the mention of, like, parents, um, but also slightly sympathetic. Um, like the, it seems like the concept of parents to them is just kind of weird but they nod and they say right okay so she used to go out and then not anymore right um huh. yeah do you do you not have parents i i know there are some tunes <laughs> that don't don't have them uh, they're just born out of thin air but um it's well i i can <laughs> Uh, I I don't know if you want me to explain what they are or not. I <laughs> again, she's sort of trailing off a little embarrassed. Sorry, they they kind of they kind of just tilt their heads back and go, Ah, oh, no, you don't have to tell us what parents are. Yeah, no, we did not explain to us a while back. Uh, yes, no, we've we've had that offer from a few people, and quite frankly, uh, we're adults. We do not need parents. Thank you very much. It's appreciated, but we can do things ourselves. Thank you. And uh, you can see them kind of grinning their beak a little bit. Uh, at least mine is. <clears throat> yes, but anyhow, uh, no, we've never had parents. Yeah, no, we. We basically, uh, well, I wake up first. Okay, before you start on this, just want to be clear, we are all the same age. Doesn't matter who woke up first. Well, I mean, I, I did wake up first, so technically I'm the oldest. Can we not start about this and get sidetracked? Right, yes, anyhow, uh, we all woke up in a cave and it was very dark and we didn't know who we were or what was going on. It was just, you know, a very dark cave. And then these weird little floaty things started coming out and, you know, we were just like, oh, all right, we'll follow these things. And uh, 
it was it was um you know it was quite nice uh they told us a lot of stories ah they told us so many stories you know that story we told you about the uh, giant magma monster and the giant fish yes they, they told us that one oh. and they had a lot of other stories as well they had a lot of other stories they had stories about uh three knights uh who traveled the land and uh and they kind of stop and squint a little bit until they has the sun i can't quite remember how that one went exactly. No, it, it is a little foggy. It, it was a while ago, to be fair. It was when we first popped up. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it was it was a good story. It was probably a good story. They were very good at telling stories. Um, and you can... You can have a lot of insight if you want. Yeah, okay, okay. Um... Whilst you do that, I will continue on and say, oh yes, yeah, so basically, I uh, wandered around those caves and then someone came down and they found us and uh, they took us back to the guild and then they trained us to be rangers and then, uh, well, we didn't really have parents because we had guild members. We had many, many people around that taught us things like, uh, they didn't teach us the sword thing. We, we knew that it's like off the bat. We were brilliant from the start. Oh, absolutely. We were experts. Um, we were 18. Uh, as they've been talking about the stories and they've been talking about the ranger guild um you've noticed it's mostly been eeny and miny talking if you look over at mo he's kind of looking down at the water very quiet um just kind of staring at the fish specifically at the shoal of fish that seems to just be kind of swimming in and out of each other and making their way very slowly towards the little offshoot uh rock poolish kind of area um, as Ma uh, Eenie and Miney just keep going on. Mm, I think I think she has noticed this. Uh, she's um, like her. She's keeping an eye on 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 him, but uh, her like she's not gonna say anything. Uh, if she could do some sort of like physical gesture to like uh, assure him, she would. But she doesn't wanna. She doesn't want to make anything obvious that she's noticed anything to the other two. Um, so she's, I think she, at this point, she's just like listening um, to them, uh, like again with the, the stories. And she's got, um, like, she's definitely very interested in, um, in them. And like, like, yeah, she, she's just like, oh, this is so cool. I love hearing stories. Um, <laughs> and, um, uh, and I think she might even say, like, um, yeah, I, uh, my, my parents told me a lot of stories about their adventures growing up. I, they were always my favorite. Uh, the minute you mention stories, they just kind of perk up and like, oh, right, yeah, we can talk. Oh my word! Can't believe you! I can't believe you let us do this, Eve. What do you mean? What do you mean? Let us do this? You you let us just talk round about ourselves. This was not supposed to be us round about ourselves. We were supposed to be learning about uh, about uh, this one today. Oh, that, yes, right. No, why don't you check? Why don't you check us? Oh, 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 oh. And Mo just kind of looks up from the stream, shakes his head, looks around, and says, "Oh, um, right, uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you guys were having a rant, right, about things." I forget the sake, Mo. Could you could you get your head out of the clouds for just a second, Dad? Yes, we're trying to talk to to Cassie about important things about her family. Right, yeah, oh, of course, right, yeah, yeah. He just thoughts his head quickly, and uh, the all three heads turn back towards you and say, "Uh, yeah, if you want to tell us about those adventures and stories, we're more than happy to hear them. We we love a good we love a good story time." We just kind of nestled down, and put you. Oh. <laughs> Um, she kind of, uh, like, yeah, she does a bit of a bashful off, and my, my dad's much better at telling them than I am. I, I, I mean, I can tell you some of the stories, but I, uh, I, I never got to go on really any adventures of my own until recently. Um, gosh, I'm gonna roll something just to see get low on this i'm gonna be very mad no <laughs> i'm rolling again this is recent oh guys pastor is bullying them so they're just gonna nod their heads and say oh yeah yeah okay okay uh recently what why haven't you been uh, allowed to go out until recently like yeah, you know it's uh 
Don't stop Crystal or anything. And it didn't stop your parents, so why wouldn't you be allowed out? Uh, I... Mm, well... I... <sighs> I think, um... I don't know exactly why. Um, but, uh... I, I'm pretty sure it's because, uh... Of... Well, our, our, our mum got hurt on an adventure before I was born, and um, I, I think that made uh, Dad and Chris m worried about me. Um, kind of just laying down, and uh, they're going to shuffle over until, like, like, next to you, and you can feel that, like, they're very soft and warm just sitting next to you and they sit down like, yeah, it's, uh, sometimes it can be a little tough to take people you care about on adventures, but, uh, I mean, if they had fun adventuring together, even if someone got hurt by the end of it, so long as they had fun on the adventure, uh, well, I'm sure they, I'm sure it was, uh, sure it was fun while they were doing it, you know? And, uh, you know, yeah, 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 they, they didn't. You know, for whatever reason they did stop. Eh, yeah. I'm sure that whilst they were out there, it was great fun. Um, yeah, I'm sorry you didn't get to go out and adventure with them, uh, didn't get to go out and adventure with them. It's okay. I, I, I know that, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think Chris liked adventuring much anyway. Um, and, and, and I, I get to do it now, so... You know, I just wish I knew more. Um, so I think at this point, considering where this FPS is, is going, I'm just going to tell the dice that they have no rights because they are making me roll consistently low mm. on certain checks and I'm like, no. We're going to be here forever otherwise, Dice. But I will take the wisdom roll that I made, which was a five. You just see them all kind of look up and think, mm, nod, nod, look at each other and say, Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of a specific reason. I mean, I mean, really, what what sort of reason could it be? Our way, hang on, this crystal, oh, yeah, 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 you're, you're cursed, right? I mean, no, you're, you're cursed, might have been it, they might have been it. Yeah, yes, no, no, it might have been the curse you've got. And they just look over you and just nod their heads very, um, ah, yes, we see, that might have <laughs> Oh, good, we're good. <laughs> this is, uh, okay, she's uh, definitely, like, jumped to her feet and is just like, I'm what? <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Gosh, what should I roll to check if they should have told her that? Oh, uh, maybe another wisdom or a history? Okay. They think really can both, but god, if they remember, if they remember with history that they weren't, I'm gonna die. Hello! Oh. They just kind of tilt their heads to the side of confusion and just be like, yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're cursed, right? But it's the whole reason Crystal's doing dead anything, you know? Yeah, it's the, you know, the whole reason that Crystal's got a nose in the all the time, you know, she's, uh, looking something up to make sure that I can help you. She, I mean, like, she, Would you she like did to tell you, right? Inside? I mean, sure you knew. Uh, I really would. I'm looking at these rolls, and I am looking at Dice Parser, and I am... Guys, fast are very hard. How? Look at these rolls. We have not rolled over a ten. <laughs> oh, poor babies. Oh, they okay. have no idea. They're very confused. Um, yeah, that was a deception. Um, so. <laughs> um, I think her expression has um gone uh very neutral, and um. You you said you would help me today, right? 
They perk up and they nod their heads excitedly and like, yeah, yeah, we can help you out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, whatever you need help with, uh, we're more than happy to help you. And they flick their heads and I'm just going to check they have a spell quickly. Uh, do you have the station? I don't know if you do. Because if they do, they're going to do the anime hair sparkle. Um, let me check. You don't. Oh, that's a shame. You really don't? I died. That's a shame. Yep, yeah, no, they don't have it. Boo. Uh, but they're just going to talk about it anyway then, and they're just going to look at you and say, yeah, now nah, we can help you out whenever you want. What do you need? Uh, she does smile. Um, they don't notice that the smile is not as normal. It, uh, it, it's a very half-hearted half effort. Um, it's just like, I, I would like to visit my sister, please. Yeah, no, absolutely. Right. Oh, we should have done right that now. thing. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Come on, then, let's. Uh, and they look over at the, um, they do kind of look over at the fire and say, I mean, did you want us to bring you back here later? Yeah, we can, uh, you know, uh, we can get mushroom, the mushrooms. Uh, not mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms, actually. Yes, we can get you some mushrooms, but I was going to say we can get you some marshmallows. And not tell any about the marshmallows. We can have, like, s'mores and stuff and uh, have a nice camp out time. Oh, we can bring crystal too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can all have a camp out. That'd be amazing. And they're just sort of chattering to each other as they crouch down and wait for you to get on. Yeah. Completely have... oblivious. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roll to get on because she's got one. She's got a plus six in dex, uh, or in a dex save, and she also has wings. So I think she manages to get on just fine. Is like, uh, I I think we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so I I can't confirm yes or no yet. Ah, that's all right. You know, Crystal sometimes gets like that. Yeah, taking her outdoors can be a real pain sometimes. Getting her to do anything other than study and take her nose out of book. But to be fair, she's doing it for a good reason, you know. She's trying to help you out, and uh, that's just what sisters do. So, you know, uh, understandable, but on honestly, if we can get her outside and enjoy a small, that'd be a win for us today. And they just stand up, and I'm not going to roll for this because the dice have been bullying me. <laughs> We're gonna head back to town. That's fair. Um, they, I don't think they're gonna notice. With, uh, I mean, you want to roll it another insight, but um, Cassie is very quiet for the rest of the trip. There. Mm, what's your perception and insight? They're both the same. <laughs> they are both the same. Dice have said, "Oh, here we go. This mm. is where the fun begins." Um, okay, that's yeah, that, that's, that's, that's enough, that beats her, um, deception from before, um, yeah, they notice that she is much quieter this time, like, I mean, it's probably fairly noticeable, because the, the first time, like, she was, like, laughing and, like, excited, and now she is kind of, uh, quiet, um, and, um, and her, her grip on them is maybe still a little bit uh a little bit uh tighter than before <laughs> oh they still oh don't gosh. remember <laughs> still don't remember i've rolled fours threes and fives to have them remember something important mm. and they haven't and i'm annoyed but anyway uh it also is in character because you know birds be birds they're just gonna turn towards each other and they're just gonna you don't know what's going on with uh with Cassie at the moment, but um Amy is just gonna kind of lean back as the other two run and say, uh, Cassie, did, you're you're a little bit quiet. Uh, did you did you want like a blanket or some uh hot go go or something? I, I might have something to her and he's just sort of gonna head down towards his uh towards his rough and try and pull something out. <laughs> he reaches into rough and he pulls out like um, he pulls out like a, a thermos and hands it over to you and says, if you want some hot chocolate, we've got some in there. And uh, you can roll me a quick perception or insight if you want. Mm, I... I think you would. Mm. I'm going to roll fine. it at disadvantage, I think, just because she would make an effort, but her thoughts aren't really there at the moment. So that's an insight, right? Actually, yeah, insight or perception? Uh, yeah, okay, I'll do it with the perception, I think. Seven. Seven. 
I mean, you see the head, you see the other two heads turn towards Eni and then back look forward, but with that, you, you don't get much. You just see them look at Eni and then look away. Oh, um, I get, I just... got, I got it though. Because <laughs> this What's is Eni. For people that mean, exactly. Um, for people that don't know, Eni is a chronic food hoarder. He will eat anything he sees. He will, uh, he has to always save anytime he sees food, um, or he will eat it. Um, and he doesn't like sharing his food. So going into the rough around his neck and not only bringing out um, some sort of nourishing food item, but giving it away, kind of a big deal. And um, Eni and Mo just kind of sided each other. And then Eni like, dude, dude, what? But they also seem to they kind of get it because this is Crystal's sister. Like, if it were anyone else, maybe maybe it would wouldn't make much sense, but this is this is Crystal's sister. So they get it. Yeah. Um, I I think she's yeah. sort of uh she sort of hurriedly wiped at her eyes, uh, and then like uh took it, uh thank you. Uh but she's just sort of holding it. She's not um yeah, like, mm. but she does have a grip on that in one hand. Okay. Would the full team be able to identify that these are potentially sad tears? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, or at the very least, uh, negative. It's definitely negative. I'm not going to roll again for them to remember because their memory is just garbage at the moment. But Eni is just going to look back at her and then they're going to do another number space roll. Are you fumbling now? <laughs> now is not the time. Now is not the time. I have gotten a fumble. Give me a moment. This always happens with Eni Mine Mo specifically. They go into their roughs and I don't bring up the fumble sheet and then they fumble. <laughs> So give me a moment. I'm trying to look up what exactly it is they have in the fumble chuck. 16, okay. Um, it's going to take a little bit for them to load up, but while uh, while Eni's head is just buried in the curly, wiry hair at the uh, base of his neck, uh, Miney and Mo are just going to kind of uh, call back. Hey, so, uh, so, uh, did you, like, want a blanket or anything else like that? Yeah, we can slow down if we're going a little fast, you know? Um, as they're trailing along. Um, she, there's a, um... No, I'm, I'm okay. I, I just, I, I really, really need to talk to Chris. Mm. And... And do they have anything here? They don't. They don't have anything. Damn it, I made you for combat. I made you for combat. <laughs> you have nothing to help it. Except for cure wounds, but that's that's that won't work on emotional wounds. <laughs> no, might not. That doesn't work on emotional wounds. Sadly. Um also, for pe people listening, thank you for being patient with me. I am very slowly but sure in get getting up my fumble chart. Uh, it is <laughs> on a word document. Forever to load up. Uh, and forever to, to scroll down. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, you. Yes. Let me down. Go. Go. Scroll. Scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. This is why you need to get it, bring it up in the first place, because then, then you don't find it. I know, it. but I like to live dangerously. I like to live dangerously. Okay, this is a fun one. Um, so Eni kind of pulls out a seed. Like, it's quite a large seed that's between his beak. And the other two, they just kind of, they're looking over. Miney slightly turns his head towards Eni. He's like, Eni, 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 spit that out, spit it out! And then Eni's like, hmm? <laughs> You just hear like a ding, 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 and prick. You just and I'm gonna roll. Oh, good. Go. You need just kind of spits overhead, uh, Cassie, and you probably have to lock down um, as it lands about five feet behind you as they keep running, and you hear like a ding, 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 and the seat stops making a noise, and then you just hear a. 
noise as this thing explodes behind you um, and gives you a quick burst uh, as they jump uh, and gives them a quick push and a burst through the air. You feel like um, it's very hot and smells slightly like um, kind of it's it's it smells like uh, sulfur. Weirdly enough, it's weird. Uh, it's like touch back down and Miney and Mo just look over and say, "Why the heck did you pull out the blasting sea? I wasn't going for the blasting sea. I was going for something else. Would you two just shut it?" And they just go back into there. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. You uh, just shut up and just. Uh, he goes back into his rough, shuffles around, and then pulls out a very very long blue hoodie. And Amy turns around and just kind of chucks it over around Cassie and uh, puts the hood up. So now it looks like you've got a blue riding hood, essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, he nods and says, I would do the zipper, but uh, not even my Vic is quite that good with zippers. I mean, the alignment's just awful. There's a reason we don't wear, don't wear hoodies or clothes for that matter. Clothes just get in the way. And they just kind of turn around. Um, and yeah, they just keep going. Um, yeah, there's a there's another small thank you, and uh, and she's sort of like burying her head a little bit uh, into the rough um, uh, in front of her, and like the hood is covering the top of her head. Oh, um, hey, um, quick question, Candle. What does what does bit of a weird one too? What does crystal smell like? Oh, um. Um, I think, um, it, it's a very subtle scent in, uh, it, it, she smells like, um, like, uh, books, like both like that new book and old book smell and, uh, ink and, um, also like, uh, eh, like the smell of like snow or rain, like that kind of clean wow. smell. Hmm. Well, you kind of catch a whiff of that as you bury your head both into the rough around uh, Mimani and Mo's necks and also into the hoodie. Because this is the same hoodie from uh, from that little um, game. Uh, uh, what was it? Dressed to Impress. It's that same one. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah. But, okay, so, <laughs> I'm saying by this time. Oh, okay. Uh, what was that roll for? Uh, it was another one. What was another one? Oh, so. Cool. <laughs> Uh, slightly better than before. She's managed to pull herself slightly better, but oh, yeah, she's still not doing great. Oh. These these three are now focusing on getting her back home. Well, getting her back to Crystal, not home. That's not their home. That's somewhere they stay. It's not their home. It's not her home. <laughs> it's just Crystal's home. Yes, Crystal's home. Um, and they're just it back to make sure. Um, and uh, I will say, I'm not going to roll survival to get back to Crystal's. They know where no. she lives. Yeah. They can find her in their damn sleep. They probably have accidentally sleepwalked into the apartment before. Um, <laughs> Crystal was not happy when she woke up in the apartment mid disarray. It's fine. Um, uh, now, the question uh, is um, hmm, I'm just thinking, how are they going to do this? I'm going to roll an int save. I'm going to roll an int good. save. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna take the window. I'm gonna take the window. Uh, window. Before you do that, uh, can I roll? uh, I want to roll a history for, uh, or maybe a history save for Crystal to see if she's remembered to leave the window open. Oh, please do. (laughs) Come on, DMV, give me what I want. MV says no. MV and Word PowerPoint are in cahoots. Oh, okay. I mean, that's still an eleven, so I think she had. I think that's high enough at this point in time that she's remembered to leave it open. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um. Right. Okay. So. Uh. 
you don't have to roll to hang on. They're making sure you're hanging on, uh, Cassie. Um, as um, Mo turns around towards you and says, "All right, so we're going to take our usual entrance to get in." Yeah, Crystal knows to leave the the window open by now, and uh, quite frankly, I don't think the uh, tends to be if we try to go through the front door, uh, we either forget to not knock it down, or uh, you know, she's so busy deep in her studying, she doesn't actually hear us and forgets to answer it. In which case, uh, we have to knock it down, and they just. <laughs> are just very carefully scaling the side of the college building to make their way to uh, Crystal's window. And they're just going to very carefully just kind of slide the window up. And being very careful of their passenger, with a 23, they quite easily get through the window, as they do very often. And they set... Hmm. Now, this is interesting. Where would they put Cassie? Uh, Because they look at the couch and they look at the nest and they look at the couch and they look at the nest and they just look at each other and they just slowly make their way towards the nest and sort of sit they do they do like the thing where you get and get that dogs or cats do you just get into a comfy like a couple of circles into a comfy place but instead of doing a circle they just kind of turn in place a couple times before slowly pumping themselves down um and kind of poke poking actually i should roll a perception shouldn't i roll a perception will they see who the hell is supposed to be here that's that's an 18 yeah i mean she's only high for one uh, she, she's where she usually is, which is at the, uh, kitchen table, uh, or the, like, because, again, it's, like, a, mostly a studio apartment, so, like, uh, lounge room and kitchen, like, and dining area are all one thing. So she's sitting there, uh, in her usual spot with books everywhere, and I should probably roll her a perception. <laughs> and um. I should probably roll her a, a perception. No, no, yeah, I, I did hear you. I'm just thinking about what Eenie Money Mo are going to do right now. Yeah, um, I think I'm she's noticed with that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you've noticed them come in. I'm just going to roll stuff for this. Cool. You notice them come in, but you don't notice them making any noise. Uh, like, they just seem to kind of plomp, plomp in over to their nest, and you, you recognise the sounds of them kind of going into their nest by now. Um... You don't hear them kind of leaning down towards, um... Is Cassie still on their back, or has Cassie kind of slid off into the nest? Um, I think she's still on their back for the moment. Um, I don't okay. think Crystal has noticed that Cassie is on their back yet. <laughs> so... I mean, she would just see a blue bundle anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know what's on there, even if she did. Um, so... They're just gonna kind of, like, gently nudge, uh... Cassie and say, um, Cassie, did you want to like plop off uh, into here for a bit and we can uh, get you get your sister? And uh, if you want, we can get you a proper mug for that. Uh, and he just very quietly ting ting tinks against the side of the steel furnace. We can get you a proper mug for that. And I think we've probably got like marshmallows and cream somewhere. We can uh, properly top that thing up. Oh yeah, we can get some sprinkles and stuff. Oh, we can actually maybe try those metal balls. Oh yeah, we don't often get to try those. Crystal wouldn't let us chug the whole bottle for some reason. I don't understand why. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, she uh, uh, gives a... Uh, no, thank you. Uh, um... Thank you, thank you for dropping me off. And uh, she's going to slide off, um, and uh, she is going to, um, uh, yeah, she's going to like pull herself uh, like out of the nest and march up to her sister, who by this point has noticed uh, that Cassie is here and does look sort mm -hmm. of surprised. Um, and you are also welcome to roll another insight on Cassie as she is, uh, doing this. Oh boy, insight, my favourite thing this session. Oh, it's a 16. <laughs> They're doing better now. Okay, <laughs> um, well, this was pretty obvious. Uh, her wings are tucked down behind her, um, and she is marching forward with a purpose, and she's angry. She's very angry right now. Hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna roll another history check. 
Come on, lads. Come on. I am so angry at them. They've rolled. They've not rolled higher than a ten for a history check. They do not. They don't understand why she's angry. Like, huh? what was she angry for? Uh, uh, well, maybe roll that an advantage uh, because uh, yeah. the the first thing that Cassie says to to Crystal is, um, "Eeny, miny, and mole told me that I'm cursed." <laughs> and Crystal is immediately oh, sending you a look and the You told her? That's a twelve. Do you think that'd be like would that be dots that before they connected together or would they not remember with a twelve, would you say? I think a twelve is enough, just enough, I think, with that to remember. <laughs> okay. You see an ellipsis dot appear above each head like dun. They just kind of slowly look towards one another, and they're like, "And um, so we uh, went under the impression it was a very large secret." And they just kind of shrug their whole body, and I'm gonna roll a persuasion because <laughs> uh-oh, Crystal looks kind of mad, and so does Cassie, and they just kind of wanna. They kind of want to just diffuse this a little bit if they can. Sixteen. They look very innocent. They're like, you know, it was. I mean, yeah, we, it was just, you know, we didn't really like, you know, we we thought she knew already. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what 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 reason wouldn't she have to know? You know, it's a. Uh, I mean, yes. Why would why wouldn't she know? It, it's kind of just, you know, it's yeah, it just, you know. Pertinent? She asked, so we just got shrugged. Oh, oh, okay. I know you rolled an eighteen in in persuasion, but uh, uh-huh. you... no, I understand. I understand. <laughs> the the things you said. Uh, Cassie is definitely more angry. <laughs> oh, Crystal yeah. is looking. Crystal is looking like. Um. Oh, I don't know how to explain how she's looking. Like, there's just this, like, exasperation right now. But she doesn't get to say anything more because because Cassie is like, so, so it's true? Does, does Dad know? Did, did Mum know? And, uh, C- Crystal can't look at you anymore because, um... She's turned her attention back to Cassie, and there's a... Yes. Okay, let me just roll something. God. Um, they are just gonna very... Stick one leg back and just slowly slide out of frame. And they're gonna just hide in their nest. Definitely not eavesdropping. Facing the wall. Just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're definitely not paying attention. No, sorry. We're just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I will tell you. Uh, neither one of them are paying you any attention right now. Um, cause um, Cassie, Cassie has continued. Why? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I, I was going to. I really was. Once, once we patched things up, I just. Uh, I, I didn't know where to start. I, I, I didn't know how to tell you. Oh no, Dew's been disconnected. Do no, come back. Curse you, curse you, internet and and dice uh, and uh, Discord, for being a pain. This this was, this is the emotional climax, and you did this. <laughs> Do you back yet? No. Yes, I see you. Ah, uh, you're back. Yes, I, I dropped just as you started having that little argument of yours. Uh, okay, give me a second. My dogs have inv- invaded the room. I need to mm-hmm. shoot them away. Boys, come on. No. No, not yet. Come on. This way. Good boys. Yes, I know. I love you too, but please. Good lads. I love you. 
yeah they, they just kind of snuck in and gave me looks and started wagging their tails against the <laughs> blinds which they know makes a lot of noise um but anyhow sorry i uh, kind of missed the part how much did you hear it might be on your um i heard hmm, what did i hear i i basically heard I just said eeny miny moe turn space the wall, don't hear anything, and then I cut out. Ah, okay, so none of that. I was, I was complaining, I'm like, curse you, curse you internet, this was the, the emotional climax. <laughs> um. No, I know. If you, can't if you can't repeat it, then that's fine, we just use your recording. But, uh, um... I, I can. Uh, I, have, I have this written <laughs> down. <laughs> I have this script. <laughs> yep. Let's get it done. Okay, so, um... I I did say that uh, them hunkering down is fine. They are not paying. Neither of them are paying you any attention right now. Um, Fantastic. And and Cassie continued with the why? Why didn't you tell me? I uh, I was going to. I really was. Once once we patched things up, I just I didn't know where to start. I I didn't know where how to tell you. Maybe by talking to me instead of shutting me out all this time. Chris, if I'm cursed, I deserve to know. I, I know, I know. It's, it's not that simple. I was just trying to protect you. Yeah, well, this doesn't feel very protected. And, and she stops as if she's put something together and is... Is this why you didn't want me to go adventuring? And Crystal is silent. And she won't meet her sister's gaze. Please. Please tell me that wasn't the reason. Chris, please tell me you didn't try and stop me from going. From doing... For doing everything you did without even telling me why. I'm 19! I'm not a child anymore! And you kept this from me! My whole life! I'm... I'm sorry. I just... Don't you dare say you were doing this for me! I spent years being patient, not pushing for answers around Mum, doing my best to try and smooth things over between you and Dad, putting up with both of your worries about me, and you never told me anything! Neither of you told me anything. Not then and not now. How could you not tell me anything, Chris? Finally, Chris, Crystal snaps and... And what was I supposed to tell you, huh? That you're responsible for Mum's death? I... Oh... Sorry, continue. There's a long silence, and I. What? And all of the fight immediately goes out of Crystal as she covers her face with her hands. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> You were just a baby. It could never be your fault. But we didn't want you to know. We didn't want to have you live with that. Of oh, stars. And she gestures at Cassie. There's a reason we never told you about mother's culture. You see, Evershore fairies aren't born with wings. They gifted them when they earned them. But you were born with yours because they're not yours. Not really. They're mum's. Cassie, you have mum's magic. <laughs> that. that freak accident? The one that affected her? It. it fused your magic together. <laughs> We don't know how, and we don't know why, but it did, and and as you grew, well, your body absorbed more and more of it until mum, until she didn't have any left. But 
and but that's that's not everything. The, the the reason we didn't want you to travel it's because it's all still there. All of that magic, your magic, mum's magic, the magic that did this in the first place. It's it's still in you. Most of it is currently dormant, thank the stars, but it's still there. And, and and we don't know what it will do. We we don't know if it'll become active or what could cause it to. And and we don't know what will happen if it does. Maybe nothing. Or maybe it'll hurt you like mum. Or maybe it'll do worse. And and you'll accidentally hurt others. We, we don't know. I, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out, but I just don't know. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I never told you any of this. And I'm sorry I hurt you because of it. I just, I never wanted you to have to deal with any of this. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was. Okay. Well, do you want to tell me what that was? That might have been a whiz save. Handel, do you want to tell people what that was? Uh, that was a nat one plus one for a total of a two. <laughs> Mm. Candle, please. Candle, please. Mm. Explain to me uh, what that was for. If you wouldn't mind. Uh, that was for Cassie. Do I have to explain what it was for? <laughs> I mean, if you want to just go, you can just go. Uh, the thing is... She's not moving. And mm. and Crystal is Cassie. And then then she is moving and 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 she's moving for the door <laughs> and now i need to roll another one oh jeez um and mm, okay <laughs> that that was for crystal uh that was a 14 which is better. Um, mm -hmm. But, oh, that was, that was a nat one. Um, she is going to try uh, and reach out. Like, uh, she's following Cassie and there's a, um, wait, wait. Where are you going? And Cassie, Cassie's not answering. Um, and, mm. um, and as she reach out, uh, as, uh, Crystal reaches out and, um, and, uh, grabs her arm, um, Cassie is going to, uh, uh, sh she is going to shout, Don't touch me! And, oh, how close is Eeny, Miny, and Mo? Uh, well, they're... Gosh, through this whole thing, they were sitting in their nest, but the minute they could see that it was... Like, the minute they could see that someone was standing up on the table and it was getting, like, extra shouty, um, I probably should have rolled one of these. Yeah, they were very slowly making their way forward and just kind of keeping low 
kind of deal, like crouching towards the ground, trying not to be noticeable. Um, they are activating the stealth they don't often use, and they're just trying to... If things go south, like in terms of uh, someone tries to physically harm each other, then they were going to intercede. Um, hmm. But okay. now just... So you would Ouchy. say they're within 15 feet of Cassie oh, and Crystal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Uh, then can you make them a constitution saving throw, please? Hmm, what is your con save? Oh, you're not bad at it. I say you roll four, <laughs> yeah? That's in the name of the game today. Uh, they have very rarely rolled above. <laughs> well... Okay, that's probably a good thing. Um, all right, uh, Eeny Miny and Moe doesn't make that save, but uh, Crystal does. She sees it coming, and she manages to. Um, I think she manages to move, uh, at, like move out of the way just in time as uh, Cassie casts Thunder Wave. Oh no! Oh no! Mm, okay. Hey. Um. Cool. 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 Was that to hit or was that damage? Uh, that um, I no no the one I rolled was crystals. Uh, save. Oh right, yes, yes. Okay, fine. Oh right, okay, cool. Um, so how much damage are you dealing with your thunder wave? Yeah. Um. Six damage, which uh, both of you take six okay. damage because uh, Crystal is susceptible to um, thunder damage. Um, so even though she gets that halved, it's then doubled. So <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, and any so, money you'll um... push ten feet away from her. Oh, actually, fun thing. Uh, Eni has uh, a little hair tie in his uh, hair, oh, which no. is called the Ring of Featherlight. It's incredibly cursed, and when they are, um, if they are knocked back um, or forced away from something, they go double double the uh, amount of foot they should have gone. So they basically fly into the wall. They go 20 feet, and you just hear a poof <laughs> as they smash uh, into the back of the wall. Um, because... They're not going to do that quietly, man. They're, they're not. They can't. Um, they weren't expecting this thunder wave to come out, and they just smack against the wall, and some of the books kind of rattle in their bookcases, and um, probably some of the little ornaments that they hung up a while back, I think. I can't remember what they got from the redecoration. It was like a little gargoyle kind of thing, probably like rattles as well. Um, but yeah, they get blown back into the wall. Yeah, um, I will say um, a lot of other objects went flying back with that, but Crystal didn't. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, and and Cassie lets out a. Um, I'm sorry, I I I need space, and uh, then she's like, uh, before like, cause I mean. Crystal's not been pushed, but she is still kind of shell shocked, and that gives Cassie enough time to like open the door, uh, dart out, and slam it behind her. <laughs> and now it's just the two of them. Uh, um. So the thing the thing is, I know there is um something else you wanted to do, um but we are coming up to almost two hours. Um, I'm just... I'm going to roll a quick medicine check for Eeny Miny Mo because they're going to check and make sure that Chris, how Crystal was handling what the peck just happened because... Whew. And, um, probably not well, I imagine. Mm, um, I mean, I mean, uh, she did take six points of thunder damage, same as you. Uh, and um, you can you can see the uh, the cracks um, across. I think she threw her arms up in front of her, so you can see the cracks along there. Oof! Um, I'm gonna look out 
the door briefly and then back at her and they're just going to very gently touch her on the shoulder and cast Cure Wounds. Uh, so all that damage is healed up. That was an eight. Um, and then they're just going to say, we just, we back in just a moment, we're, we're just going to make sure that, we're just going to make sure that she's all right. And then they turn and head towards the window and call back, wait, we'll be back, we swear. Eh. And uh, actually, before they go, they kind of stop. And they look at their nests and they look at each other and they just head towards the nest, pull something out of it very quickly and then chuck it around around you, Crystal, and then head back out the window. Mm-hmm. Um, they, uh, they've, they've chucked one of, uh, probably one of her favourite old ones that went missing, that she presumed, she, she presumes it went missing. Um, it's like an old, <laughs> old dressing gown. Mm. Comfy from, like, having been worn so much, and then it just went missing, and she was just like, I guess i got to get a new dressing gown now, huh? Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, got that on. Um, I didn't know if you wanted to cut it there or if you wanted me to very quickly do like a quick um, check up on Cassie oh, or yeah. looking for Cassie you're, bit. You're more than welcome to if you would like. Oh, perception time. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> this is where they <laughs> roll a high. 21. That's a 21 to perceive. Um, you... Yeah, you do spot her. I mean, like you, uh, <laughs> you managed to get out the window, and like so you can keep an eye on the door when she comes down. And she's just like, uh, she's just storming down the street currently. Um, uh, and uh, she's not flying. She's walking, and she's like, uh, her, her arm keeps going up to like rub at her face. Um, and yeah, she's just power walking down the street uh well they're gonna just trot to keep up um and they're just gonna call out uh kissy kissy uh wait, wait up for just a second we're not gonna try and take you back but i don't think it's like you know safe to just go back by yourself uh, at least let us like walk you home or something and they're just gonna trot and try to keep up mm, there's there's a the there's a little bit of like uh tightness in her shoulders and they sort of like tense up and then they drop and the okay um yeah okay uh it's i i just i just want to go home she's just gonna quietly murmur down did you want us to give you a ride, or did you want to walk? Uh, I'm gonna roll a d2. Hmm? Uh, yeah, uh... I, I wouldn't mind a ride. Um, just gonna quietly nod. And shrink down if you get on. Um, and once you do get on, um, they're going to make sure. By the way, is she still wearing the uh, blue hoodie? Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe actually. I don't think oh. she shrugged it off. Okay. They kind of lean back and they just tuck like the top of it, pull it down over. Cassie's face and make sure it's like tucked and wrapped up around her. And um I'm gonna roll this again. Oh my god. Please. Please. They roll another fumble. Well, uh he reaches back into his rough and he pulls out a book about interior design. And he's just like, this is not the time for this. And he puts it back and he rolls again. He rolls another fumble, he gets a six, and he he pulls out um pulls out a ball of rice um in a packet and it says uh, brand new jelly donut. Um <laughs> he just kind of squints at it and is like maybe later. Tucks it back in. There we go, that's what I wanted. He reaches back into his rough, rubbles around, and then pulls out another flask and hands it to uh, 
hands it to uh, Cassie and says, You don't have to drink it if you don't want to, but it'll at least keep you warm on the ride over. And they're just going to trot off on their way. Yeah. Um, Would you like to roll say, a perception, by the way? And, and then you can, sorry, yes. you can continue what yeah, you're saying. No, you're good. Oh, you can also roll a uh, perception if you want. Or if Cassie would, I don't uh, know if she would I right don't now. think she would right now, uh, but that's enough. Yeah, uh, that's fair. You, you can feel her head again sort of go down in, into uh, the, the rough in front of her, and uh, the hood is covering her head, um, but you can feel um, uh, drops of water hitting, hitting the uh, rough. And um, the sound of uh, trying to be stifled sobs. They don't run. They don't run. They are walking. They are taking their time and they are making sure that they are not. They are not. They are not running. Very firmly not running as they make their way very slowly back to her apartment. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they find you maybe it take one very... wrong turn or something, but you manage it without much mm. fuss. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the time for Toonie shenanigans of getting lost all around town. Um, now, I feel like for the 15, they also recognise uh, as they come up to the back of the apartments. Oh, wait, hang on. That's, that's her window. Right, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to do the classical. Okay. I'm going to turn back and say, I don't know if you lock your windows or not, but quite frankly, I don't think going down that hallway with your cranky neighbours is quite what you need right now. So we're just going to, uh, you're going to take our regular route, all right? And they're just going to as you please uh, climb up the side of her apartment building I guess um, uh, as gently as they can yeah you, you get a small nod uh, and uh, she doesn't lock her window so you will have no issue there um, they have issue because they just kind of turn towards each other and slip as they slip in and make a whiz save now is not the time lads please that's a zero. That's a zero. That is a nat one with a minus one modifier. That's a zero on a whiz save. They, as soon as they climb through the window, they kind of move, they close the window behind her and lock it very firmly and they just drop her. Well, they don't drop her. They, they make sure that she's somewhere comfortable, like on a couch or something. Yeah. And then they're immediately just going to be like, you know, she really lock your windows. I mean, honestly, it's one thing for Crystal to do it because, I mean, she doesn't do it anymore because she knows we're coming around. But anybody could have just crept in there, you know, it's very dangerous. And they're just going to they're gonna head into the kitchen and just, uh, they're going to make uh, make tea and stuff and then, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you wanted to talk about it or anything. I mean, uh you know, we, we can listen if you want. I wouldn't say we're much good at advice, considering, well, we might be better advice than nothing, but... Yeah, anyway, uh, do you want some tea? And they just, just go to the kitchen. They just dump from the couch, lecture her about not looking her window, and go to the kitchen and make her tea. Um, yeah, uh, you don't get a response, but, um, you maybe hear the sound of a, uh, a a door um, clicking shut. Uh, that was a stealth. Uh, she's hmm. no longer in the room. Hmm. Do you want me to roll a perception to contest it? I mean, go for it. What? Please. Yes. They come out with a cup of tea on the couch. They look around. They don't see any sign of her. They just. Slowly put the cup of tea down, and then they call out, uh, they go back towards the window and they just call out, All right, well, we won't overstay our welcome then, uh, there's, there's tea out there if you want it. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you want to, uh, talk or something, uh, we're always around. And, uh, uh, you know, again, the, the offer to go adventuring is, is always up there. Oh, wait, yeah, they, they remind us, and they just... Uh, Miney digs into uh, the rough around his neck. Yes, thank you. And he pulls out something, and you might hear a little think. 
table next to the mug of tea and they say just just in case you uh, ever did want to you know come out of each being or oh, you know just bust a shout or oh, you know have a chat well he, that'll be a way to find us and they go back out the window scale back down the uh the apartment wall and leave mm-hmm. yep they they get no response Excellent. Um, well, they've done what they can. Um, they hope she's still in the apartment. I mean, they checked the window, it was still locked, and they didn't hear the door open. Gosh, did they go to the neighbours? Oh gosh, and they're just like, I really hope she didn't go to one of the neighbours. Yeah, they seem like a lot of lot. Honestly, they start bitching and whinging at her. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, that's not what she needs at all right now. <laughs> they just scaled up the of the building. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they didn't hear uh, anything out the window or out the door. Um, they may have noticed that the bedroom door that was open is now shut, but I don't know if they would have registered that. But yeah, probably not. Not with these three, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately not. But um, I don't know if there was anything else you wanted to do before we like cut it here or. Uh, that's that's all I have for this one. And okay, well then I guess the closing scene is we follow Eeny Money Mo as they run back towards Crystal's apartment, and we zoom back in to the window, and then through the window and through towards the living room where the cup of tea is sitting, and then it's it's still about like it's probably like afternoon ish time now, um, as the sun is starting to get a little further down in the sky. And it comes through the window, and it sparkles. Uh, it sparkles along the tea nicely. Uh, it, it looks like a creamy tea, uh, black tea, just normal black tea, tea bag with a bit of bit of uh, bit of milk. And then it catches a little glimmer on something next to it. Looks like a little uh, little pin, a little badge in the shape of a shield, and with a big uh, R in the middle of it. Two wings coming out the back of this thing. And it just sits and glimmers in the light as we close to black on frame. Yep. And, and that's where we end this. Yeah, thank you for joining us and thank you for putting up with my shenanigans, Do you? How are you doing right now? No, I am, I am looking at you. Because I have some context for things now, and I want to shake you <laughs> very much. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you, audience, both present and future, for listening in. Uh, we will catch you in um, a few minutes for uh, the uh, the second part of this double feature of uh, Three Point Fracture. So see you there. <laughs> Where things get worse. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can imagine. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank, thank you, you everyone for listening. Yep. Um, Bye. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.